Okay, I've got some important news uh, to share about this uh, inverted uh, jewel thief, this pulse inverted jewel thief. I was having trouble getting a big bulb to go on uh, and charge at the same time with this circuit. And I was using this little 13 watt bulb to get it done. And one of my commenters, I think it's Megavox is how he pronounces it, said that probably the reason this YouTube is working is because it's so close here it's acting like a horseshoe magnet and that's why the tubes weren't working. So I thought I'd try one of these big round uh, bulbs and sure enough it works. And let me turn it off. See it's off now. I'll turn it back on here. <coughs> There it goes, and that's on. And this uh, this was a winner here, this bigger tube, and it allowed me to get uh, low amp draw with this new timer, and then still be able to charge, and then still be able to get great big light out of it if I want. There's the great big light right there. Now I I can do this with uh, as little as um, 15. Uh, milliamps, 150 milliamps, and uh, using the voltage regulator and stuff. But uh, <coughs> this is a runner, this this big round, uh, it's a 30 watt bulb and it really pumps out the light. And uh, it's charging um, the charge battery too. I'm getting ready to box this. And I'm going to use these uh, camcorder 12 volt lead acid batteries in that box right there. And I was going to use this bulb with it, but now I'm going to have to figure out some way to use this big uh, round bulb because it really does the job. <clears throat> and I can turn this way down to um, a low light level. And this will go right on down to um, one or two milliamps. There's a, about a milliamp and a half, or uh, ten, 10 or 15 milliamps, and it's still on, and uh, it's still charging at that point. It'll it'll charge a cap right up, but uh, this is real good news having this big uh, big bulb work. Now I've modified the circuit quite a bit again, and uh, I've eliminated a lot of stuff. I eliminated the pot going to the jewel feed completely. Just put a 1k resistor there. And I'm really just using 175K uh, pot here on the 555 timer. I did go to the CMOS on the 555 timer, and it does work, and it saved a lot of amp draw right there. These caps, I really made a mistake. They're not picofarad, they're microfarad. It's 0 .0047 microfarad. I don't know if that equates to picofarad or not, but that's what I have running on the circuit right now. Some of the guys were having trouble finding pico fared caps. A lot of these uh, small caps will work there. It's not critical. But uh, anyway, this circuit is pretty much done. I just have to figure out the switch. This is a diagram getting ready to do the switch to change batteries back and forth. And I ran this all, all night last night. It works like a champ. And it charges the battery up at the same time it's draining down that. But uh, the amp draw is so low. Uh, they would run for days and days and days even without charging. So just want to let people know that this uh, round tube does work. If you're building one of these things, um, get one of these 30-watt round tubes. I think they go in a kitchen light or something, but they really work well. <coughs> let me turn that back up. I'll show you how bright it gets here. I have a voltage regulator. I'm a vol adjusting the voltage uh, to about 11, 10, 11 volts. Let me turn this back up. You'll see it going bright. There's bright, bright, and that that's real bright. Let me turn the light off. Let's see it up a light. Okay, yeah, that's uh, quite bright right now, and yeah, that works real good. And I'm I'm drawing it down at uh, that's about 230 milliamps, but I can take that on down quite a bit lower here. So there's, uh, there's 150 milliamps, and I've still got the bright light on, and it's still charging too. So Anyway, I just want to let people know that um, you get one of these big round bulbs, and it works like a champ. And it's because the uh, proximity here of the, the discharge and the return are so close 
that that's why it works. Anyway, that's the latest.